Hi, my beautiful Pisces. How are you guys? Okay. How are you guys on this lovely morning? Thank you so much for being a part of my channel, hanging in there with me, you guys. Thank you for accepting the truth. Thank you for accepting um, me. Um, thank you for receiving these messages here. Um, also, you guys, thank you for being very positive here, okay? Despite whatever message that may came, came or come out in these readings. Also, I would like to send my gratitude to every, every last one of my subscribers and my viewers. I appreciate you guys so much. First, I would like to give a shout out before I start this reading. I would like to give a shout out to the people who donated to my channel, who is really helping me and assist, assisting me. I appreciate you guys. Um, you do not know how much I appreciate you guys. There's no way that I could be able to express it besides to continue to give you guys um, inspiration, hope, and the truth. I want to go ahead and recognize Kendra Blakenship. I want to recognize Esther um, Clayton. I want to recognize Miss Marcia um, Ford. I believe it's Ford Bay. I want to recognize Miss, is it Mr. Chad? Yep, Mr. Chad. I want to recognize you. Thank you so much. I believe it's Mr. Chad McCovery. And I could be, I could be saying it wrong. Um, but I definitely um, appreciate you, um, you know, expressing to me and giving me the details of what is definitely going on. I appreciate you guys' messages. Um, I appreciate you guys' story. Your story means something to me. Um, it's important to me because obviously I'm tapping into these uh, stories. So whatever it is that you're going through, you know, I'm going through, I feel it on an emotional level and with an emotional debt and it matters to me. So I do want you to know that, you guys. Um, I want to give... <laughs> A big shout out to Miss Myrna. Thank you so much, Miss Myrna. Um, Monique Cunningham, Kenneth Carter. Thank you so much, Kenneth. Um, let's see. H. O'Clary. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss O'Clary. And then Miss, um, is it? I, I don't want to mess your name up, but Miss, and the is it Anna Dina? Anna Dina Kilve, Kilves or Kuves? So I do want to um, recognize you guys. I appreciate you guys so much, so much, okay? I do. So let's get into this reading. Let's get into this reading, you guys. What is this channel message? You guys, I'm a little under the weather, so I apologize, okay? Um, Pisces, what is the message? What is the message that you would like for me to get to Pisces spirit? Okay, what is the message that you would like for me to get to Pisces Spirit? What is this channel message here? Pisces, what? What are you, who, who's manifesting you or who are you manifesting? What are you manifesting? What's going on here? Oh, Pisces. Okay. <laughs> All right, Spirit. All right. All right. What is the message here? What is the message here that you would like for me to get to Pisces here? What is this channel message that you're wanting me to bring through here? Okay. All right, Pisces, five of cups in reverse here. Mm. Okay, so um, somebody is definitely overcoming some type of emotional dissatisfaction in their life, and they are stuck between a decision that they want to make here. Um, they're coming towards you very slowly, um, moving towards you very slowly, trying to make a decision. Um, they're progressing here. There is progress. Someone's taking some slow steps here. It is in regards to their emotional happiness, their emotional bliss with this Ten of Cups. Someone's trying to figure out what's going to make them happy and how they want to plan to move towards this happiness here with you. Over our energy is the Four of Swords. So someone here is really um, wanting some type of stability here with you. But in order to have this stability here, I feel like someone feels like they have to recover or heal from another separation or they have to release their emotions and feelings from another situation. There's five of cups here someone coming out of some type of emotional um despair here okay tell me more someone is definitely wanting to recover emotionally they have come to the place here where they are maybe like getting some type of emotional maturity about their circumstances here in order to have stability here um this is definitely healing releasing um in a very positive and healthy way here okay queen of pentacles is in reverse here Okay, there could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in this energy. This is not your energy. Um, 
somebody is in this energy this is a blockage it feels like a blockage here with the strength here it could be a leo energy or it could be a capricorn virgo or a taurus energy so leo capricorn virgo taurus energy this queen of pentacles stands for it could be a mother um, or a father energy an aunt or older woman uh grandmother it's like an older energy here um it's a very it's like yeah it feels like someone who is mature and older um but it feels like also that there are Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, could be some Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Leo energy, but whoever this person is, I feel like they're trying to recover emotionally from that situation. They're trying to gain some type of emotional maturity in regards to a situation here with you, but then there's someone here with the strength in reverse that may be like... I don't know. It's like they're making it something difficult because the six and the three, they're making something difficult here for someone to transition in such a way. Um, they're definitely not taming themselves. They could be speaking up or opening up or expressing something. It feels like putting their two cents in almost. Tell me more. Who is this? This is not your energy, Pisces. <laughs> okay. Capricorn energy. You guys, if my sniffing is too much for you guys, it's getting to be too much, and I might have to stop this reading, um, if, especially if it's too much for me. Um, but I feel like this person is trying to release themselves from that situation. Um, this feels like an overbearing mother for some of you guys. I don't know who the hell I'm reading for, but whatever message is coming out is coming out. If it does not resonate with you, it's a channeled message. It's for whoever, it's for whatever Pisces or whoever cross watchers needing to hear this. Someone's trying to release themselves from someone who's an overbearing type of energy here. This person is really um, like, th this is like a transformation that they are, they have been avoiding and it's stopping them from having new love abundance and that seven of cups with that ace of cups is them really having to like make a choice to walk away because seven plus um ace is like walking away this is them needing to make a decision i feel like this is really them releasing the burdens that they may feel in regards to the situation and setting themselves free in such a way and it's called independency okay so this could be like a mama's boy a damn uh mama's boy or uh what's the other one called uh daddy's girl or you know or whoever this is because this feels like an interfering party here i'm sorry the five of cups is this person realizing what their stability is and what they want they're fit they're realizing what they want they're realizing what's not emotionally serving them they want new love maybe with you pisces they want a new beginning in love here with you i feel like they do want this i said but it's like they have to they're going through some type of transformation they have been resisting this they have been resisting seeing it feeling it, acknowledging it. The five of cups is them having to go through some type of emotional um, awakening here. They're realizing something in regards to their feelings in regards to this person's feelings about you or their feelings about this person. Yeah, they're trying to release themselves from this because they feel like it's a negative attachment. Um, it feels like an overbearing mother, overbearing father or an overbearing um, energy here. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, I was just saying that emphasis on Capricorn, emphasis on a Leo energy, possibly. Tell me more here. Yeah, it could be a water sign, you guys, in this situation here. For some of you guys, it could be a water sign. Um, this is like King of Cups coming out. Yeah, Leo is coming out. This person may have Leo heavy in their chart. This is a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer energy. This looks like, I'm sorry, this looks weird because it looks like two grown people. They're two grown, and I want to say grown-ass people, two grown-ass people capable of making decisions for their, their damn self, and there seems to be some type of conflict in this situation. You understand what I'm saying? And the strength here is someone needing to put up healthy boundaries here and kind of set them free from this situation. Um, yeah, you know? This is somebody who needs to figure out things on their own. Okay, that seven of cups and eight of pentacles. Somebody here needs to figure out things on their own. And they need to maybe, you know, you know, like as a page. You know, I feel like the queen is the mother or the father of somebody here who's very overbearing here. This person wants to release themselves from that situation. Cross watchers, switch it around. Switch it around. You're going to get this message, baby. 
you're going to get this message either way. It's going to be the truth in some way, and you're going to get the clarity. You might come back here uh, a month from now, a year from now, and it's going to resonate. You'll get it. But someone here wants to release themselves from this situation. They see, they see something. Wow, but hold on now, because I just heard something. They want to release themselves from this. They feel that there's a negative they, they feel like there is a negative attachment here to this person. They feel like this person may be trying to control them in some way. They may feel like they're, they have some type of codependent relationship with this person. They may feel like this person is very codependent upon them or they're codependent upon the situation with this person. Um, okay. Sorry, you guys. I feel like what this is, is an emotional attachment, is what I'm hearing. Uh, this does not look financial. For So for some of you guys, this is not a financial attachment, and Spirit is wanting me to let you know. Where am I at? 11 minutes. This is an emotional attachment, okay? What time is it? 11.48. So this is an emotional attachment that this person has to this, this other person in their life. And it feels like wanting to please... This may be you doing this, Pisces, because the King of Cups is here. Um, so, you know, masculine energy, feminine energy. Um, this may be you. Some of you guys, I'm actually talking directly to my masculine energy or my male energy. Or if you have a masculine energy here in Piscean, um, you may be trying to release yourself from something here that is an emotional attachment um, you may feel like it's unhealthy. You may you may be the five of cups. You may be coming to some type of emotional awareness, um, awakening, realization, um, emotional maturity. You're coming to that place where this is like no longer wanting to cry over some type of spilt milk here in regards to someone else connected, being connected to someone. Um, this could also be, yeah. For some of you guys, this feels like a mother to a grown man. I'm sorry. I feels like this is a mother to a man or a, a daughter. It's like a mommy and daddy's issue here. This is mommy and daddy issues for someone. Um, and it feels like an emotional dependency. But put yourself where you are here. Because I do see that... This water sign energy is trying to close themselves off. They're trying to close themselves off to this person or this situation. Uh, for some of my Pisces female, you might be feeling like this is, you know, you're not in the situation, but, you know, I'm just saying here. I feel like some of my Pisces female are coming up as the queen of pentacles. I feel like because some of you guys, if you're directly connected to this person, you may have been trying to mother this person, nurture this person, right? You've been trying to mother this person, nurture this person. And that devil is that break here because it's too codependent. And you may be coming to some type of realization emotionally. So the story is going to be so different for all my different Pisces. Some Pisces is going to be the actual... Um, mother child dynamic um for some of you guys you're taking on that mother dynamic here with this person and i feel like you're realizing the instability and the stability that you may want here so you no longer can mother this person mother the situation here um so i feel like you might be really like drawing away from that but it's so weird this is so weird how this message is coming out spirit it's like three different stories here for some of you guys um, but ultimately you're still taking on those roles of a family. It, okay. The, I just heard something very deep. I heard, I saw the card healing family issues. So you're taking on a role Pisces that you may have never received as, uh, as being a child, you may be trying to mother someone else because you never received that love and that mother or that motherness or that nurturingness that, so you're, you're, you're taking on the role as mothering this person. This person is taking the role as, you know, whatever it is that they have experienced in their life and their dynamic of their mother and father, they're taking on that role of showing you that same type of um, energy here. So, wow, this is crazy. This is crazy surreal how things are just coming out here. Okay, it makes so much sense. 
Wow. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. I feel like this person does not feel like they are getting what they want. They may not feel like their ships are coming in. <laughs> they may like look, you know, they're ultimately they're they're they ultimately have the decision. And it has a lot to do with letting go of something here, uh, making a final decision here to cut some type of cord. Um Okay, Pisces, I just heard that when you take this mother energy away from this person, they're going to go look for this. They're, they're going to go look for this somewhere else. Oh my God, it's too codependent. Okay, if you take your mothering and naturing and love, like whatever, when you take this energy away from this person and you come to some type of emotional realization about this person, when you take that mother energy away and you release yourself from this unhealthy relationship or dynamic, I feel like they're going to shut down emotionally towards you is what I was what spirit just told me they're going to shut down emotionally and I feel like they're going to look for this outside of you for some of you guys they are releasing they're trying to release themselves from a mother energy a very overbearing mother energy um they see the stability that, that, that they want and um they're trying to release or they are releasing themselves, but they're still emotionally codependent in some way. So they're going to venture off with this three of wands energy. And it's like, they're going to find this in something else. So it's like, they're going to, it's almost like leaving one emotional attachment for another. Tell me more. I don't know who I'm reading for or who this is um, resonating with, but I hope it's resonating with someone post it and you guys can tell me ace of cups see i'm telling you they want new love they know they're coming to the emotional realization here that they want they want love they want new love they want <laughs> oh my gosh this person wants a new beginning in love they do they want a new beginning in love they want to be loved they want a healthy love connection here but then they're not this is like someone who's really not taking control over the situation. They may not have healthy boundaries. They may not be loving themselves. They may not be being assertive enough. Like, what do you expect? This is really about having respect for yourself, too. Like, I feel like they may not have, like, you know. And if this is, like, you'll know your energy. This is about having respect for yourself. Tell me more. See, oh my goodness, someone's like, this is how they kind of like receive love. Yeah, five of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, this is so crazy. I'm just like telling a story. Okay, so <sighs> this person has been so used to receiving love in this way. Or want, wanting love in this way that has left them feeling is this is leaving them feeling like depleted and left out this is so weird this is this person's only way of this is their only way of you know knowing love and you know expressing love and this is the like this is the only way that they know how to be in love or be accept love or be in a relationship this is what they learn this is a learned behavior and this is what they know love to be you know this is definitely something that is like uh, childhood growing up you know this is what they have learned that love is and it's just it's leaving them to be like this five of pentacles energy It's leaving both of you guys in this energy. This is both of you guys feeling left out in the cold, feeling like, you know, um, it's, it's both of you guys feeling this way. It's so weird because I feel like there's, there's love here. Um, but the dynamic of how you receive love and how you give love with the six, the five of cups and the six of cups here, it's not an equal give and take. Um, because there's two people that have this very dynamic and very odd way of receiving and giving love, and it's learned through family behaviors. 
is learned through family behaviors, family upbringing, the way that your parents were with you, the way that your parents showed you love, the way that your parents didn't show you love, ultimately leaving you both left out in the cold and depleted of receiving something here. Six and six, we have the five and the ace, we have the queen and the five, and this is all sixes here. Six of Cups. It's not an equal give and take in love. Six of Pentacles. It's not an equal give and take in time and energy. I feel like Pisces, you may be putting too much energy and time into a situation only to feel like you are the Five of Pentacles, like you're not getting the same in return. Um, it's This is like a very unhealthy dynamic here. And I feel like... Um, Oh my gosh, Pisces, this is like so stressful. This reading is so stressful to me. I just, I don't even know where to start, but I'm starting somewhere and it's like, oh my gosh, this is like so sad. I just, I don't, it's weird. It's really, it's really crazy to me. It's really crazy to see that two people here have so much to give but they're not giving it in a very healthy, harmonious way with that six. Six is all about harmonious, the a balance, compromise, the equal give and take. Like, it's, it's, it's not, tell me more. Yeah, the hangman here. Again, all about compromise and all about perspective, you know? So... I do see that Pisces, this may be your energy coming up with this hangman here. Pisces, if you, some of you guys realize that there's a mother or overbearing mother or father in this energy, I feel like you realize that you see it, see? Uh, yeah, oh my gosh, it's like out there, right? The moon, the page of swords, the two of swords in reverse, the seven of swords, like you kind of all, like you, you, it's something about t you're going to take something to your advantage or you you have something here that you can use in your advantage. The seven of swords and the two of swords, this is something here that you can use in your advantage in some way because you know something. But I feel like that's like you being controlling. So it's like allowing something to unfold naturally. So just be mindful that you're not trying to um, control the situation because of what you know. Um, because you are having some, you 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 know something. You've already like, you realize what's going on. You realize the dynamic of this relationship, or you realize the dynamic of the 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 mother or the father, the overbearing type of energy here. Um, and I feel like don't use this to your advantage is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying, don't use this to your advantage. Um, I do feel like you need to, instead, what you should do is you should release yourself in this situation is what Spirit is saying. So I do see that you will be, um, it feels like you will no longer be the martyr. You're going to be releasing yourself from the situation. Um, or at least that's what Spirit is wanting me to tell you to do. Um, They don't want you to do any self-sacrificing here for this situation. This part, You should not sacrifice yourself here. Okay, you should not be a sacrifice or a sacrificial. It's, it's, it's weird. It's like you should not hang yourself on the cross here for this situation. I don't feel like you should uh, because I feel like it's really unhealthy. Um, some of you guys need to be careful not to sacrifice yourself for the overbearing parent or mother. Okay, because it's an unhealthy dynamic. Okay. Tell me more. This person is trying to um, stop being self-sacrificing for this woman or this father. They're trying to release themselves from this, okay? Um, they're, they they realize that they have been a sacrifice or, I don't know, is it right? Like a sacrificial, a sacrifice. They have been sacrificing themselves in some way to this person, and they realize it's time to release themselves from this. It's time to gather their own beliefs, their own thoughts. You know, this is like somebody who needed to think for themselves, shift their perspective in such a way. This person could be going through some type of spiritual enlightenment, it feels like, and I feel like that's going to help them to release themselves from this burden. They've been burdened. They've been burdened by this. They're burdened, yeah, see what I'm saying? Burdened by the realization here. Ugh. 
I'm seeing this person. If it's not, for some of you guys, this is my Pisces male energy. You may be releasing yourself from this, you, especially if this was like a marriage or a, a codependent relationship that you were in with a married person or something like that. You're going to be releasing yourself from this. You're no longer wanting to self-sacrifice yourself anymore. Your emotions, your feelings to being in this. This is crazy. This is like you emotionally being in an emotional dependent relationship with someone who's not able to give you what it is that you deserve or you need. And like, you're just really like, you know, you have to be very careful here not to move towards something else or another situation here because your goal is to have an emotional new start, new beginning in love. Your goal is to fill your cup up in that and to find someone who can emotionally give to you equally get equal give and take in love. Um, don't look for this outside of yourself too. So it starts with you too. But I do feel like it starts with healing within yourself. I do feel like, you know, if this is my Pisces male in this energy, you do not feel like your ships are coming in here. And it is in regards to a new, um, new love, like abundance, emotional new beginning here. Okay. You may feel left out in the cold. And I feel like you guys are at the point where you're just like, I can't continue to sacrifice my hair. It could be Capricorn in this energy. You can you, you can no longer continue to sacrifice yourself for someone or this overbearing type of energy here, this person here who's trying to bring you into the situation. Tell me more here. Um, Pisces female, it could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn or you're dealing with a Pisces Scorpio Cancer man or uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. And I feel like you're at the point where you're, I, this is what this person is doing to you. I feel like they're trying to release themselves from this overburden type of energy. Um, and they're trying to, they feel like their ships are not coming in in regards to this situation here. They feel like this person has been really holding them back from that four of wands energy, 1111 11, stability in their life, new love, abundance. Um, someone, this is somebody who really like depends on this female. They could depend on this female financially, but it does feel more like an emotional thing. So for my Pisces female, this feels like an emotional dependency. And maybe they always feel like this person is there to help them or they can always, it's, 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 an, it's an unhealthy dynamic. That's, I can tell you that damn much. It's a very unhealthy dynamic. Tell me more. It's like this mothering energy. It's so smothering. It's so smothering, Scorpio energy death card. There's a transformation here and someone's avoiding this. They're avoiding this ending. Um, for some of my Pisces male, you may be avoiding this ending. For some of my Pisces, this Pisces female, you may be taking on this um, King of Cups energy too. But um, for the most part, speaking from feminine energy to masculine, um, I'm going to speak from that. So I won't have you guys all confused. Um, it's like this person is like avoiding this transformation, especially during this. Isn't it Scorpio season? Yeah, Scorpio season coming up. There's going to be a big ass fucking epiphany here and realization. Tell me more. I'm so sick, you guys. Yeah, Queen of Wands energy. Okay, Pisces, this is your energy. Feminine energy, Pisces, this is your energy coming up. Um, for Okay, wow. Hold up. Wait a minute. I just heard something else. Do not play spirit. <laughs> Do not play with me. Um. Oh my goodness. Okay. Someone is going to be real. Okay, so this is really crazy. Okay, this is really, this 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 is some deep, crazy shit. I don't know how I'm getting these messages. So someone does, the four of cups is realization. They realize what they were missing out on. They realize what they have been pushing away. Something about their intuition. They're wanting to have victory here with something that they were missing out on. And the moon here is them coming to that clarity here. Realize, I'm hearing realization. You're having some type of realization here about um, your energy, Pisces. You, someone's having a realization here about a situation here with you. Their own energy is the high, see, they're trusting their intuition. I do feel like you're Queen of Wands energy. So I'm having some type of like realization here. They're releasing their burdens here and they're longer, longer wanting to be self sacrifice self sacrificing in this situation, self sacrificing in this situation. And I feel like the Queen of Wands is them um something about like because there's something about their femininity here. So someone's taking on some type of, because we all have masculine and femininity here. So some, this is about their femininity within them. If this is a masculine energy, someone's taking on some type of confident here, courage. Um, they're taking on some type of confidence or courage here and desires.
oh, okay. So they're taking on some of they're taking on some of your energy, taking on some type of energy or role here within you, some type of confidence that you may have. They're, they're trying to like they're taking on some of the role of your energy, this confidence, this power that you allude here. Okay, they're taking on some type of role of you. They're taking on your role. Okay. This is like using their feminine energy too, their feminine power in some way, and releasing themselves from this dependent, this codependent situation. <laughs> wow, um, this is really sad that I'm what I'm about to tell you. Some because Pisces, some of these, like I told you, the truth about this situation is that some of these. Uh, it feels like like they're going to, like I told you in the beginning, they're going to release themselves from this unhealthy dynamic, but they may move towards a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius person. So I hate to say it, but they, they could be moving towards that. Hold on. Okay, Pisces, sorry. I had to answer that doorbell about a business call. So you guys, look, this is where I'm getting. This person here, this is weird. This is like... <laughs> This is so crazy. Okay. This person here is going to release their burdens in regards to a situation here. Okay. With the overbearing parent, overbearing mother. I just have to say all what I'm getting. Okay. If this is not an overbearing parent or an overbearing mother, okay, they're going to be releasing their energy. They're going to be releasing themselves from a situation here with you, Pisces. The only reason why they're releasing or they're letting, they're releasing themselves and they're um, laying down their burdens is because you have decided not to be the martyr and you're releasing yourself from this mothering, mothering energy here, you know, giving energy. This it's not an equal give and take. Once you do that, Pisces, they're going to go and latch on to this Leo energy, because I'm seeing these lions here, or this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign energy. So they're going to go latch onto another energy here. The reason why I'm saying latch is because the three of wands is in reverse. It really feels like, it feels so weird. It feels like a three-party type of situation here. Um, this is about to get really real here. And see, instead of this person just going ahead and um, going through this transformation here for themselves, a rebirth, they're not. They, it's like they are, they want to avoid that change that they need to make. They're avoiding the change. It's like you can release yourself from one toxic person or situation or behavior and then latch on to another one, like whoever is there to receive you in some way. So that's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. But I do feel like you, this is really like making you feel left out in the cold. I do feel like you want this emotional love and abundance with this person. But what you have to understand is this person has to go through this rebirth. They have to go to this, go through this transformation here. And you have this epiphany or this enlightenment in regards to the situation. And you're no longer going to be the martyr in this situation or the mother here to the situation. It's not healthy. And these are healthy dynamics that was um, developed as childhood or maybe with the mother-parent dynamic here. Um, maybe you have some type of dynamic in your um, family and they have some type of dynamic within their family upbringing. But either way here, let's see, Pisces. It feels like this person is going to, um, they're going to be like moving passionately towards a situation here with you why they are like detaching from uh, this overbearing mother energy, but then they're also going to be having some type of passion with someone else. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Come on, tell me something, spirit. Tell me some more. Knight of Cups in reverse here. Oh, goodness. is really sad to me because it's all it's like a dynamic this this is a really unhealthy dynamic that someone's holding on from childhood is you know wanting to be nurtured by a mother wanting to be accepted or loved in such a way and these healthy dynamics is the reason why this person is is behaving this way in love you are being the nurturer you're over nurturing a situation here that's not healthy 
you have learned and developed these unhealthy dynamics within your family situation for some of you guys. This is just so unhealthy here in such a way that, you know, I wish I could just reach out and just, you know, but let's just, okay. So the Knight of Cups here is this person really like, they're going to go to another person. It's like this Queen of Wands energy is them taking on some type of role. Like, I feel like it's weird. It feels like this is a makeup or a DNA of your energy, too, because it feels like they're going to. I'm telling you what I'm seeing. It feels like they're going to want to be having like moving towards you with passion or they may have moved towards you with passion or they're passionate about a situation here with you. But there's because you are deciding to release yourself from this situation, um, Pisces, because you're deciding to. <clears throat> not be the martyr in this situation, they're going to have a reunion or latch on to, and it feels like a Leo energy. Now, it could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, uh, some moon rising being a sign, but strong Leo energy to me too, because that's when we were starting out. I saw that energy. So uh, they're not going to be feeling like their ships are coming in, but they may be having um, or maybe wanting or having some type of passion here or moving forward passionately with the situation. But what is going on here is a knight of cups so this is like unrequited love now i feel like either this energy or this this feminine or masculine fire sign energy here someone rising venus sign whoever this person is they're standing they're showing up as the queen of wands energy i feel like this person is going to be having unrequited love with this person they may even feel unrequited love for this person so this is sad because it's like always my goodness man I feel like this person, this Queen of Wands energy is like, you are passionate about this person. Um, and I do feel like you are wanting to have maybe like, you're wanting more. I feel like you really do, but you're not going to fall for something here. You're not going to stand for something here. You're not going to put yourself in a situation when you already know what time it is. Hey man, you're enlightened to this. You know what this is about. So why would you put yourself in that position, Pisces? So you're not going to put yourself in that position anymore. So they're so used to their unhealthy dynamic that they're going to latch on to what they can latch on to, what's willing to um, move towards them with passion. And I do see that it's unrequited love here. So tell me more. It's unrequited love. King of Pentacles. Now we have a pair here. Okay. This person, I feel like they're, see, this is so, this is such a crazy dynamic. Pisces, I'm trying to really get through this reading, but I'm very, very, um, needed and wanted right now. So let me try to get through this because, uh, my goodness, I really wanted to put out another reading for you guys, but this one is really juicy and it's like, it's really good and it's positive and it feels great. And then it feels horrible. Then it feels sucky. Then it feels, it's all over the place. Um, so let me tell you what I'm seeing here. When I, I just pulled this King of Pentacles here, right here, Pisces, unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, this is unbelievable. So this is a perfect pair here in this reading. This Queen of Pentacles is King of Pentacles energy. So this is what's happening, Pisces. Pisces, when you stop giving your energy and your time in a very unhealthy way to someone, when you stop mothering someone and you release yourself from the situation, and it looks like you're freeing yourself from something here, being the martyr, there is going to be new love coming into your life, okay? This this is a new love. For some of you guys, this is a new love. Let me put it like this. For some of you guys, this is new love. And for some of you guys, this is somebody here who's presently or has been in your life. And it's like they are, um, both of you guys were like, I feel like both of you guys were on the same page. I feel like both of you guys were um, left out in the cold or this person left you out in the cold or you left this person out in the cold. So it looks like an uh, energy where they may be like coming back in your life and they're coming in with a serious offer here um, of commitment because, oh my God, who the hell is this person? 
Ooh, Pisces, I like want to do some personal readings right now for y'all. So this per this is a new this this some of you guys this person isn't new, but they're coming back in with a new offer of love. The reason why they're coming back in with this new offer of love here is because you've released yourself from something that's very unhealthy, codependent, this mothering energy, this wanting to save someone, wanting to give your energy and time to someone that is not an equal give and take. Once you release yourself from that. You shift your perspective in some way about love, about something here that you feel for yourself. You release yourself from that situation. There's like a couple people in this reading, one, two, three, four major people standing out. Um, this is such a big lesson here for everyone. This is so crazy. This is so crazy, Pisces, because um, you were left, you were in the cold with this person. This person is going to come in to invest in a situation here with you, but it looks like they're coming in with an offer of love and some type of stability. They want to commit. So I'm seeing that this is someone, this is either new love here, or this is someone here who is definitely um, defining this moment here with you as a defining moment of, you know, wanting to have this emotional connection again, um, investing, wanting to be committed here. The reason why they're doing this is because there's a situation here with another person, a third party situation, it could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius energy, some moon rising Venus sign, where there's unrequited love. I don't know. It's almost like it takes them releasing themselves from a situation here with you, uh, or it takes you releasing yourself from a situation here with them that's codependent, unhealthy, and them realizing where they got this unhealthy behavior from, which is, it seems like their mother or their father, like that mommy, mommy's energy, daddy's energy. Um, you stop giving that energy to them in that same way, you know, because it is a form of control. It is a form of, it can be a form of control because it, beca it becomes smothering and overbearing. Um, then this is so intense. This is so real. Then when you take away your, that situation, you remove yourself from that situation, they go back and have an unhealthy connection or dynamic with someone else here that may be in a three-party situation or putting them in a three-party situation or trying like, almost like they were trying to put you in this three-party situation, but you weren't having it. So they go back to a three-party situation here. They're putting themselves in a situation here where they're having passion with that person and it feels like a fire sign energy might not be for all, but they're putting themselves in that situation. It's unrequited love because that person does not have emotional love for them. Then it's like they come to their damn senses again. Oh my gosh. Tell me more spirit. So they're wanting to come out of the cold and they're going to come out of the cold with you. Tell me more. Somebody think that this is a form of love. Yeah, see, they're coming off break with you, four swords. They're about to, yeah, they're going to communicate with you. They're going to come off break with you here. They're going to be talking to you. So this is somebody who was like on break with you or they weren't talking to you. Like they're, but you know what? They're still like avoiding. They're still avoiding some type of transformation or change. It's like, and I don't know, again, I'm seeing this like Leo energy here, the sun sign. I don't know. It could be a sun sign or it could just be, it's like they're stuck in between something. They're stuck in between something here, you know, um, something that they think is like happiness, what they feel is going to, uh, could be chemistry, passion, something here. And then they're stuck with between like, you know, um, going through some type of transformation here, like what's really going to like, what, what is, what is happiness for them? What is pure happiness? What is joy for them? You know, what is really bringing them joy? What's going to make them happy? I feel like this person, for some of you guys, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, man or woman here. Um, it feels like earth heavy here and it feels like, um, water and earth for my maybe Piscean females, um, and maybe for like my Pisces male, this could be like a, this could be like a fire sign, maybe Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for you guys. Um, let's see. Tell me more spirit. It doesn't have to be, don't get too caught up in the sign. I'm just trying to read as much as I can read for you guys, as much as I see, but don't get too caught up in the signs, you guys, because there's so many different people in this reading, but someone's coming off from break from you and somebody's going to be communicating with you and talking to you coming out of the, and it's like, they're coming out of nowhere. Like they're just coming out of nowhere because there's something emotionally here that they are recovering from. Um, it's almost like, I don't want to say admitting defeat, but it's almost like confession. Like they're coming with a confession here for some of you guys. I feel like they're coming here with a confession, Pisces. I'm hearing that they're confessing something to you or they're coming here with some type of confession here about 
the choice, the decision about whatever it is that they have been through. They're coming here with a confession. Tell me more. Yeah, they're opening up. They're taking the blindfolds off. Oh my God, this person is confessing to you. They're confessing to you. It's like, I'm confessing to you my, my sins. Oh my God, you see what I'm saying? Judgment with the Nine of Pentacles. They're about to confess something here with you. And you remember I just said admitting defeat? The Five of Swords is in reverse. So there, it's like, it's like, admitting defeat it's like trying to be amicable oh my god i know i'm not crazy look this person the five of swords they're coming out of conflict here with you they're the judgment is they're trying to reconcile with you they want to have a second chance with you the knight of pentacles is they are single and free and they're not attached to anything here they're not attached to anything they're yes and see they see now they're coming in there's this is enlightenment this is like you know um spiritual this is like being enlightened this is like you know being on a spiritual journey here on a path realizing i'm hearing realization here coming to the realization is what i'm hearing with that nine of pentacles here they're definitely this is definitely some progress here that's made within their self um this person is confessing to you confessing their sins, confessing, opening up to you. And that's where that passion is coming in that I see here, that they're going to be opening up and expressing to you. They may even be expressing to you about that other situation, that other person, um, you know, whoever they were having passion with or whatever the situation may be. But they're also expressing that they want to commit to you, that they want to be invested in a situation with you. They want to try this. They want to have this abundance, this emotional new abundance here with you. They're confessing and opening up four, five, six. Yes transitioning moving forward moving away this person no longer wants to be they no longer want unrequited love they don't know they no longer want to um they no longer want to like offer their love to someone here who does not love them or who's not you know giving to them the way that they want um i just hear someone saying they see the errors of their ways okay Someone's taking the blindfolds off Pisces. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Why is all these people in this reading? Yes, Pisces. Okay. One, two, three, four, five people. What is going on? This is a lot of connections to a lot. A lot of uh, this is a lot of situations here. Um, situationship. That's why I was saying you're still coming off with that Queen of Wands energy is connected to the Queen of Cups. I felt like that was definitely some of your energy too. So um someone's like confessing confessing to you their sins someone's opening up to you they're taking the blindfolds off pisces but pisces you're turning your back to this person and you're closing your emotions off you don't want to hear the shit like this is you <laughs> this person wow this is so crazy pisces now they're realizing now they're realizing pisces you're closing your emotions off to this person you are passionate and you're standing in your confidence. That's why I felt like you were still connected to this Queen of Wands energy. Um, that's why I said there was a three-party situation. This is crazy. For some of you guys, um, this is going to resonate. And when it does and when it happens, it's going to be like, wow, no shit. Or some of you guys, this is happening to you right now in this current moment. For some of you guys, it's like past, present, or future energy. But this is so crazy because this is like... This is a perfect pair um, in this reading here. Okay, these are soulmates here. It's like a whole bunch of lessons here that needs to be learned. And I, for the most part, I feel like it's being learned here because we have the two major arcana is the devil with the hangman. So this is all about releasing. It's like somebody being released from all these negative energy, these negative things, these negative habits, realizing a whole bunch of spiritual enlightenments and spiritual truths. And you know, wow, this is so crazy. No one, everyone around here, no one longer wants to be the martyr here. Nobody here wants to be the martyr in this situation. Um, this is this is really like a wake up call for a lot of people in this energy realizing what they were doing to the other person, realizing what they were accepting with the other person, realizing what they weren't receiving, realizing what they weren't getting. Pisces, you're going to be closing your emotions off. The devil is you releasing yourself from the situation. The Ten of Wands of you laying your burdens down. The Queen of Cups is you is closing your emotions off from the situation here. Like, um, But I feel like the whole, it's not about you like closing yourself off here. Um what I'm trying to say is I don't want you to be this person where uh, you're not open to love. I feel like spirit wants me to tell you to keep your heart open. Keep your heart open to love. Keep your heart open to love. Stay open. Um, I'm hearing engagement. Um, 
they you're going to close yourself off the blindfolds are off of you and the blindfolds is off this person so there's going to be someone confessing their sins, their emotions, their feelings in such a way. They're going to be confessing to you what they have been doing, why, maybe why they have been doing, or they may be confessing that you were right all along, or, you know, there was some type of unrequited love. They were giving their love to someone here who wasn't really loving them, um, really, really, you know, maybe really wasn't passionate about them because I feel like there's a three-party situation here with this Queen of Wands energy here. You are the Queen of Cups energy. You, of course, you take on the energy as the Queen of Wands because you're confident within your abilities here, but this is a separate person because there's a three-party situation this is so surreal this is so surreal this is so crazy this makes so much sense and i hope that it's helping for some of you guys so mm, um yeah someone's going to be coming in this is a real this is new love for some of you guys this is new love um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And for some of you guys, this is the same person. And they're like, they have this renewed sense of um, of love. You know, something here where I felt like a renewal here. You know, they have been, they have come to some type of enlightenment here. And they want to release themselves from that situation. Because like, when you release yourself, they kind of attach back to a situation here that may have been unhealthy for them. And it was unrequited love. And then, like, they come back in wanting this new beginning in love with you. They want to invest. You're the queen of pentacles. You are mothering. You are giving your energy out. You are smothering. You are doing all this stuff. And now they're coming upright. They're realizing that they want to be committed to the situation. They want to offer you a new love. They want to offer you love, Pisces. They want a new beginning in love. Oh, my God. This person is really expressing to you. This is like, I'm hearing express your love. Express your love. Someone's expressing their love to you, Pisces. They're expressing their love to you, Pisces. But you're just like, I don't give a fuck. Pisces, you got your heart closed. Do not close your emotions off. You have to, you got to, um... Mm -mm. You can't close your emotions off here because this is what you always wanted, Pisces. This is what you've been waiting for, Pisces. This is what you, I'm hearing divine time. You've been waiting for this. And now that you is here, you're like, nope. Now that it's here, you don't want it. You don't. You're like, I'm not open. My heart is not open to this. These are all about wearing masks, too, here is what I'm seeing here. I feel like there was there was just too much there was too much mask me and wearing too much deception here. Um, but it was only to cover up things here that was happening on a deep emotional level. That's why I was just saying deception in regards to family issues. Um, someone, you know, that's all it was. It's just trying to release yourself from this. Let me see one card. Yeah, forgiving and learning here. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Over our energy is true love. This is a love. This is a this is a romance of a lifetime. New love here for some of you guys. So some of you guys, this is new love. For some of you guys, this is true love. This is someone who's been in your life worth waiting for. I was just saying that. So yeah, divine timing is at work in your love life. Oh my gosh, you guys, cut it out here. Stop playing with me. Forgiving and learning, Pisces. This is definitely a lesson here. And this is about releasing and healing from past experience. Could be with someone who someone's dated, releasing themselves from that situation. This could have to do with forgiving and learning from a situation um, so that there could be love here in the present moment here. Someone's confessing. Someone's releasing themselves from something. You're releasing yourself from something. It's going to make this person come back around. They're going to want to confess their love to you. Um, give me one more card. Okay, new love came out. So, so for some of you guys, this is new love. Give me another card here. Um, yeah, it is safe for you to love. Um, yeah, so see, open your heart and give the highest energy. I'm telling you, this is all about forgiving and learning. This is about releasing and healing something here. That heart chakra, releasing and healing from something here. New love to restore some type of new emotional abundance. It is safe for you to love here. I feel like there's somebody here who wants you to feel like it's safe for you to love them. It's safe for you to love them. Uh, they also want your forgiveness or they have learned something here and they've released something and they've healed from something here in a past experience so that they can have more love here for you in this present moment. And they're confessing. Yeah, keep an open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type and expectations. I'm telling you here. This is so real. This is so surreal, you guys. 